I'm proud to introduce the RoboArm. RoboArm is a completely open source, 3D printable robotic arm that weighs under 10 pounds. Users will be able to move the arm as if it's your own arm. How's that for a dream? Pretty yeah. good. No kidding. I started building robotic arms in my bedroom at age 14. Since then, I've been building multiple generations, each one getting better and better. I met this seven-year-old girl at a science fair. She had a prosthetic limb, which was $80,000. That was really the aha moment for me that I could take what I was doing for fun in my bedroom and potentially change people's lives with it. When I met Easton, I saw someone that wanted to make a big difference. We have put our blood, sweat, and tears into building this robo arm. To get an investment today would really allow us to produce this at a full level where we can actually get this to the people who really need it. How old are you? I just turned 18. I just turned 23. Wow. You can use any two muscles on the human body. The control system actually will, will learn from those muscles and actually tune itself to the arm. Say if I had MS, I could actually use my cheek muscles to actually feed myself. I want to test it. I want to see what it takes to move it, because I've controlled an upper torso with 48 different channels. And there's a lot there to make that all move nice. These guys have incredible ambition. But going from prototype to production, that'll be a huge challenge. They have to tailor every RoboArm to the user. And every RoboArm they produce not only has to work, but it has to work flawlessly. There is no room for failure when the point is helping someone regain their mobility. How much does this weigh? It's actually under 10 pounds. That was a big goal of mine coming into this. Uh, the human arm weighs right, right about 10 pounds, and for a prosthetic, that's really the line right there. You don't want the guy walking around with 50 pounds hanging exactly. on one side. Do you mind if I just tear this panel off oh, here? Go ahead, please. There we go. Oh, I got it, OK. You've got a brain. The brain is listening to your muscle sensors, and those muscle sensors are basically turning on and off a switch. Two sensors are attached to the user's intact bicep and act like switches. To select a specific action, you flex your bicep once, sending a signal to the arm's controller. Flexing again activates a motor that turns your selection into movement of the arm. So I see you're using standard hobby servos here, but it looks like it's a pull-pull mechanism. Is that correct? Right. So basically, when this motor turns, it's going to pull this string, and that string is going to cause the finger to rotate. Exactly. That's cool. All right, Brooke, let's get you wired up. So we're using biceps? Yep. It goes up here if you want to click these in. OK. Put, put your arm down. It's going to lock your arm off now. <laughs> this is weird, this is dude. Great. So the only muscle you're trying to flex is just your bicep. Oh, I'm starting to get it. There you go. OK, now go ahead and just. Ah, look at that. OK, that is nuts, man. Yeah. Now go ahead and flex your, your right arm now. Oh, yeah. look at that. That is cool. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Here you go. I got a little something for you there. Thank you. That's pretty impressive. That I mean, cool. you're using your muscle flexing to control that. I am controlling.